I used to do my best cleaning when I was pissed off. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Silver and Sensational. I'm Jessica Lynn Verdi. I'm your co-host, your producer of the show, and we're all just here to just hang on every word of our sensational silver, Lois Hi. Mills. Hello, everybody. It is I. It's Lois, and thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, this may be a subject that you're just saying, Ew. But um, stay tuned because we'll make this fun. I'm ready for this one, honestly, Lois. And before we get started, we want to remind you that we are doing so well on our journey to getting 2,500 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who has signed up or, you know, become a member and a subscriber of our show so far. Once we get to 2,500 subscribers, we're going to kick off our Miracle Bomb giveaway, the Jones yeah. Road Miracle Bomb, all 12 full-size colors of the Miracle Bomb, worthy of almost $500. You bet. You bet it is. And no, no discount. We have no deal with them. It comes right out of our pockets. We want to give this gift to you. It's worth it. You're worth it. Miracle Bomb is exactly what it says it is in the word. And we're excited for you to help us get to 2500 so that you can get that gift. So hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you know when that yes. giveaway goes live. Okay, Lois. Yes. You know, uh, I am intimidated by this topic today. Well, let's just get started. Okay. Because I don't know who makes up these weeks. Okay. But I, just for everyone to know. Because I'm sure you put this on your calendar, that starting March 24th through March 31st is National Cleaning Week. Let's go. You know what I love about that is don't you dare spring clean after the 30th. Like if you, <laughs> if you missed it, it's time. It's done. <laughs> the window is closed. Well, you know, spring is the time to do real cleaning. And I've got some statistics for you that uh, bear with me because I'm going to read the statistics. I really didn't think I needed to um, clutter my memory bank with these things. Oh, speaking so, of spring cleaning, yeah. Yes. So uh, just for everyone to know, 95% of American households engage in some form of spring cleaning. Where are they getting the percentage, Lois? It's from the same people who are saying that March 24th through the 31st Got it. is National Cleaning Week. Got it. Now, 74% of these 95% say that they do it every year. Yes. And the top three rooms prioritized when spring cleaning with the percentages, again, I don't know where they're getting this. Is sure, the, sure. I, I guess I didn't know I reported every year, but <laughs> <laughs> let's, it's good to know that I'm being considered. Kitchens, <laughs> kitchens account for 64%, bedrooms 61%, wow. and bathrooms 59%. Uh, I think that needs to be higher. Let me just... Mm, I think so, too. Then, when tackling spring cleaning... Americans find the dirtiest things in their homes are the windows. Uh-huh. 65% report this. And the floors. Yes. 64%. And the toilets. They didn't give a percentage. I don't think we want to know. Have, how could you have a dirty toilet anyway? No, I got it. I got it. And dirty floors. I mean, you know. I walk around barefoot or with socks. I mean, you know right away when your floor is dirty. Yes, yes. And lastly, 78% of Americans spend an average of six days spring cleaning. I'm so glad I have an idea of how much I spring clean now. <laughs> so now, like, I'm I'm ready. And I, it has to be with the with coinciding with the weather. It has to be, right? Yes, and I believe I believe for those people who celebrate Passover, I believe that um, spring cleaning is part of that. That's fascinating. So there is 
some psyche tradition. You know, I, I actually lament that、um, we're not more like the Japanese who build cleaning into their daily routine and view it as though they're taking care of themselves if their living space is clean as well. And I don't think we put that same value. On clean, you know, I I I would say the average American is more like me, where like I turn a blind eye to how filthy my windows are because I can't, I just can't do that today, or like I I create blind spots or compartmentalize, and then all of a sudden your floor is dirty and you just can't get to it today, you know, but it becomes weeks. Well, I'm generally fairly organized, so the house looks cleaner than what it really is. Sure. Because it's organized, you know, there's not a lot of stuff around. But I paid special attention to this、uh, topic this time, because, as some of you may remember from a previous episode, I am seriously thinking of moving to Paris, and don't want to take any furniture or any extraneous stuff with me. The clothes you're not going to wear. You know, exactly, and that's what's interesting about all those、um, percentages you shared too. I always thought of spring cleaning as a decluttering, not not literally physically cleaning, though. Of course, it makes sense, but that was just no, how my association with it. Well, I remember as a kid, you know, my parents spring cleaning. You know, my mother with the dry sponge on the walls. I don't, wow, you know, but、um, so I have started. Um, this past week, with a decluttering, especially for the move, I think that makes yes, especially for the move. Started in the closet, but that's a whole nother story, and we'll do、uh, a recap of of where I am with those things, and、um, on another episode. So、right. for the rest of us,、um, some suggestions are: you know what, start small. Start with a room, even an area,、um, and organize it, and then follow with the deep clean. Oh gosh, I would have never thought of that hierarchy. Yeah, because you know, otherwise, what are you cleaning? You're pushing things around, you know. So this way, this is this is an opportunity, you know, to declutter,、uh, you know. So you. Sometimes you know, let's say your den, or wherever you have your TV set, and、sure. you know, and you know, it tends to get a lot of stuff. And so, as an example, last week,、uh, I thought, oh, you know what, this room, I just feel like it's closing in on me. So it's where I have my TV. I put up a TV snack tray sometimes if I want to have lunch and watch the news. You know, I do projects in there, so I really gave it a deep clean, and、wow. it makes you know, and it 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 just smelled fresher. Everything was fresher with it. So when you so first, you need to organize, and when you're organizing, you know, this is、um, assess what you have and determine whether or not you really need it. You know, and、uh, and. I used to do my best cleaning when I was pissed off. Oh my God, Lois, <laughs> Lois! I one of the best purges I've ever had in my life was moving out of an apartment with a guy I was sleeping with, and I was so mad, and I was leaving, and and I didn't tell him, and it was spiteful. Don't get me wrong, like I was pissed, and I got rid of so much shit. <laughs> I know. See, so because listen, believe me, this is not the time to be sentimental. You know, like if let's say, let's just say, for example, you're going to start in your closet.、Um, well, let's just leave that for a moment because <laughs> sure, that's a whole nother story, especially for a lot of us ladies. But you know, believe me, whether it's books or magazines, if you're still getting paper magazines,、uh, if you're Getting local papers, and you're going to read this, and you're going to read that. Listen, if you haven't read this stuff in the last month, dump it. And、wow. one of the th- one of the ways I found lessening the load is 
I discontinued um, paper magazines. Yes. And so whatever magazines I get, actually one, I have like down to one subscription and they I, they get, send it both online and in the mail. And mm. I, I love the quality of the magazine because it's sort of old fashioned in far, insofar it's called Flower Magazine. It's a very small publication. So Six you're times supporting a, a company and, and th- you're the, adding to the beauty of your the, home. The quality is really wonderful. The paper's good, the, you know, all of that. And so when I finish reading it, I pass it along to somebody. Oh, you know, I, I don't stack these things. You you collect, collect, collect. I mean, there's so much you don't need it. So, you know, and also, you know, for the things that you do need to organize, you know, buy storage bins and do organize them. Now, I also give you a warning. I know a gal. (sighs) She was very wealthy and loved buying clothes at TJ Maxx and other places, and clothes and handbags and whatever. Interesting. What she did is when she ran out of space as she brought this stuff home, she'd buy more storage bins. She'd put what was there in the storage bin and then stack the storage bin somewhere. And I would think, when are you going to get rid of this stuff? Oh, my gosh. So she just moved it from one spot to another. So, you know, if you're buying the storage bins to organize That doesn't mean to keep stuff you don't need for that. Ah. Someday you might need it because you know what? Someday isn't going to come for that. It really doesn't. So it's it's time. And it's also time for big time closet clean out. So, yeah, I want to say when I go through my – like, because – Having just moved, even though it was in August, there's I'm still like trying to figure out the places for things, but storage is a big part of that. But one of my favorite things to do to just talk about what you just shared is lay all of the crap out and just decide, okay, this is trash, this is trash, this, and then placing them into like little piles. And then, you know, so this is exciting to me because I love the step by step of this all. So the next. The closet one I'm interested in. I'm excited for this. Okay, so you know, let's let's remember that less is more. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go with that. So, if you haven't, now there's a few different methods people use. I always use if I haven't worn it in a year, or maybe never, then it's time for it to go. So, I have a great piece of advice. For how to, to know that you didn't wear something in a year. Go ahead. So let's use this March 24th spring cleaning as the beginning of the year. Once you place everything back into your closet, put it in the opposite way that you like to have things hanging in your closet so that when you go to wear it, it goes back into your closet hanging the normal way. So like if I like everything facing to the left, right? So I hang everything back up facing to the right. Once I've worn this blouse or that sweater, it goes back clean facing to the left. Perfect. And there's also the hanger theory. You know, if you have your hangers going, uh, you know, where the, where the end of the hanger is facing the back of the closet. So when... Well, that's, exa- that's exactly the side. That's, you do it either facing or the... But I didn't think about it that way. Yeah. Yeah. And in... Or, so at the... So March 24th of 2025, you know right away if you've worn it or not. So I love uh, that. I have already begun my process. Now, I have a separate room that I've made into a dressing room. So um, I don't empty everything out at one point. But for those of us who have closets in the bedroom, there's also um, the idea of um, taking everything out of the closet and putting it on the bed. And then that requires you to finish before you can go oh, to sleep. Oh, sure. Okay. That's a laundry um, t- tactic that I use. That's yes. great. So, you know, you, I, I get the great big black garbage bags and 
this, this is to give to people I know, this bag is is to donate and this bag is trash. And so when it comes to donating, I'll just quickly say, believe me, no organization wants your ratty t-shirts. I mean, they, you know. Thank you for saying that, Lois. You know, please, you know, either. You're just giving them trash. You're just giving them trash. And it's, you know, think about people, you know, there's so many organizations, the Dress for Success people that, you know, provide clothing for women who are re-entering a regular lifestyle, looking for work, you know, those are, or maybe you want to bring things to a resale shop. So, you know, just have different bags that you're using for this. And, and the, the, the hardest thing, uh, especially when, you know, I lived in your climate now, Sure. Uh, is seasonal clothes. This takes up so much space. You know, what do you do with it? If, if your dry cleaners will accommodate you and it's within a reason to do so financially, see if you can't store your out of season clothes at the dry cleaners. Ah, you never considered that. Well, it's, you know, not all of them do it, but I know some of them used to do it. Um, otherwise I, this is when I use those, uh, very large storage bins. Yeah. A lot of people like vacuum seal bags for this too, because it does. Exactly. It, like oh, with the and, puffer coats and stuff like that. Exactly. And, you know, I use that for, um, linens that I'm not using, sure. you know, so it does, it really works very well. And then, um, and when you're, you know, if you're going well, you are going to store seasonal, even in Los Angeles. I mean, you know, there's pants you're not wearing during the summer. We exactly, just, we you wear, just know that. Yeah, we so and colors uh, too, right? Like, so like I always had my Thanksgiving autumnal colors and my winter colors that didn't traverse to spring and summer. So okay. you can definitely change those out into different drawers. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. But, you know, one of the things I, I do, and I suggest you do it as well, is for those things that you are rotating, you know, seasonal, putting away, putting to the back of the closet, whatever you're doing, launder or dry clean these items. Look to see if there's any repairs. Do this with your shoes as well, your shoes and your boots. Smart. Do they need a, you know, don't store the stuff dirty and then next season, you know, all of a sudden, when, you know, the weather changes and you need a sweater and, you know, there's spots on it or whatever. So oh. take the time to do that. I did that the other day. I came out with, you know, I got into my t-shirt drawer, which Judas Priest, I mean, I had more garbage in there. And ratty, ratty, what the hell was I doing with this? So I was collecting these wonderful uh, Comme de Garçon striped t-shirts with, you know, the heart with the eyes on it. And I have them in about, I think, every color that was ever made. Wow. And... Um, I laundered all of them, you know, checked online for the best way to fold T-shirts to give me the most space. And, you know, I not only did I purge and do this T-shirt drawer, but I mean, I now have a completely organized, laundered, everything fresh in there for me to get on with the season. God, it feels so much better when you're... You know, there really is a direct correlation to your mental health oh. when different parts of your house are cleaned or not. Oh, yeah. Now, here's an area that I haven't done and I am starting to do, and I don't know how many of you do it, but, you know, don't neglect your digital space. This I'm, is such an important... I'm so glad you brought this up, Lois. Well, you're more, you know, you're certainly more computer savvy than I am. And I have a friend who's constantly cleaning out files. Well, you know, I'm, <laughs> I never thought about cleaning out files. They just keep accumulating. Why, why would you think about that? I, I, but have is, you ever seen a friend's um, desktop and see a million little thumbnails of all of the little programs. Like this is that causes anxiety for me when someone just doesn't have five folders, but they have 
all their pictures they've ever dealt with. Like, this is, like, for people who, you know, work remote or whatever, and everyone has a different brain. But that's, like, anxiety to me. Is oh, I'm, I'm pretty good about a desktop. You know, yeah. what I put on, I have uh, certain files that I want at my fingertips on there. There's not a lot. Also, I tend to lose things, you know, in the computer. Where is this stuff? Sure. So, um, so I keep those on the desktop. Sure. But that's the, smart. But in terms of, um, you know, like these these folders I have an email, you know, from moving 2017. I don't need that stuff anymore. And so, and then you know, like it was you who told me to empty the trash. I mean, that's another thing. I'm terrified. I have to empty the trash? What if I need something? You know what, though? There is the occasional oh shit mo- moment. But yes, hitting the the trash button is in, and emptying it is important. You know, something you have here too, and I'm just going to jump to it, getting rid of apps and subscriptions you don't need now is the time. You know how every now and then you're like anxiety ridden going, what am I giving $1.99 to? that I signed up for in 2020. Now's the time to go through your bank account. What are you paying for? Delete this and the subscription. I think that's wonderful. Absolutely. And especially, especially the streaming apps. You know, you want to watch something that's on whatever streaming app. And so you sign up for it. You get your seven free days. Mm -hmm. And then... Ad infinitum, you're being charged twelve ninety nine, and you, have you noticed that they've all jumped up every two three months? They're raising their prices. So I did do this a couple of months ago because I said, "What is going on? I've got so many of these things, and I'm actually it was Paramount that uh, that." Um, uh, and I say that for all you people that are uh, CEOs, CFOs, COOs, or whatever you are at Paramount. And you had Yellowstone, and I signed up for Paramount Plus. And then for the last season, that wasn't good enough. I had to sign up for just regular Paramount or vice versa, whatever it was. Oh, my God. And I said, you know what? I'll do without seeing Kevin Costner for the last season. And went ahead and went through every subscription, you know, that I'd see, you know, that and it's also in your phone, the subscriptions, because it's, you know, automatic. It's insidious. It, it goes on and on. So you're so right. And the same thing with the apps. So that's uh, that's on my to-do list. Now and you have here, too, backing up important documents. Um, yes. You, it, is, it is important that you have it on one space that if that goes dark, it's on another space. So, you know, at one point I was paying for both Dropbox and Google Drive storage. Make sure you're just paying for one of those and put those into one of those online storage places if you want to have a backup. And, you know, you, we it's too much to get into right now, but external hard drives are really helpful for organizing. That's something that I've really had to get into, especially with producing podcasts, you know, like making sure everything has enough storage but that we have the backups too so you this, use those little usb things no so they're um literal literally external hard drives so they're bigger and they they all diff there's different sizes there's different qualities i've i've learned the hard way that like one brand i'll lose all of my stuff and another brand it I, it's actually unbelievable how much you spend on these two um the one i believe in now is sandisk and they're like durable and they're literally one terabyte of size that, that's all i can afford because they're 200 dollars a piece it's wild, Lois. But when you're dealing with video and audio, all these files are very high. Very large, yeah. And your computer doesn't work as well if it's all on your computer. So so having an external hard drive also takes the labor off of your computer. It's yeah. way in the weeds about this. If you guys want more information, you can direct mail me personally and I'll help you out. Um, let's get to the next part. So, you know, I haven't talked about the actual cleaning uh, I think that, you know, we all know how to clean, whether or not we want to is another story. Yes. But for those people who have never cleaned a room, you start from the top, okay? You let all the dust go down. Smart. 
And then you do the floors last. Smart. All right. That's awesome. But whatever I, love, I actually love that. It's great. Whatever you use and however you do it, or but whether you That's have your help or you call somebody, and I see these commercials on TV come night for nineteen dollars, they cleaned everything, the oven, the this, the that. You know, if you have these services come in, whatever they can do the cleaning, but only you can declutter because only you know what you want to keep and what you want to get exactly rid of. Right. So. A quick aside, don't forget all those cables and from everything that you bought over the years, which you no longer have anyway. And so you've got cables and and, and uh, extensions and all kinds of stuff. Get rid of all of that stuff, okay? Either You don't need the backup. You can no, always order you, it on Amazon. So whether... so. There's places to dispose of things. There's goodwill. There's all kinds of places to dispose of good items that you no longer use for yourself. Or you can sell it. I, you know, people, if you've got the time and the patience, sell, but just oh, get sure. rid of. Sure. Which then, now that you've decluttered, now you can step back and you can actually see what you have, and how can you freshen up your space? And let me tell you, uh, I used to be a genius at freshening up spaces out of TJ Maxx. I love that. Yeah. It's, you know, you don't need to spend a lot of money. You know, take a look-see. Can you, you know, will a couple throw pillows you know, maybe brighten that room up, a nice throw on the sofa, unless the dog or cat will shred it, which, you know, happens. Um, so no, you know, no knitted throws if you've got, sure. the, you know, those lovely four, four-pawed people. Um, <laughs> then there's also, you know, uh, new lampshades. I mean, there's... Oh, I never thought of that. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, there's, you know, there's just to it's spring and it's time to lighten everything up for the you know for the sunnier weather and you know buy a few scented candles and some fresh flowers i mean you can't beat the prices at trader joe's totally uh, and they're you know, lovely flowers they really they, are they really are and you know just keep in mind it's progress and not perfection so be oh, proud so cool. of yourself. Celebrate that you finished a room, you finished an area. Step back and admire it because you really will. You really will admire what you've just accomplished. You know what, Lois? I'm doing this with my boyfriend as we are domesticating this home and still like it's taking a long time to get lived in here mm -hmm. but every time he hangs a shelf or a, a hook and it puts together that one room or fixes something and don't get me wrong i'm doing my part but he's like he's like the go-getter if he's like oh that's got to be done i'll do it i just look at that for a full day and go this looks great and it makes me feel better that that one piece is solved this for you know i i listened to um, a longtime New York radio host celebrating 50 years at a rock station in New York. Wow. And um, he's been a DJ from the time he was 15 years old. <gasps> wow. So this is just 50 years in New York City. And he said he lives in this one bedroom, or I don't even know if it's one bedroom. I'm sure not it's, in New York. It's maybe a studio. He has no real kitchen. He has no no stove. He has a microwave what? and a little mini bar refrigerator. And it was like, how do you live like this? And he said, you know, he eats out a lot or he he has um has food brought in. Sure, sure. Um that is really you know, someone I think who's sort of an exception to the rule. Um, but for the rest of us, you know, our home is a nice refuge. Yeah. And it's really a place that you want to be able to feel good in. So, 
if you have a bathtub and you like soaking in the tub, isn't it much nicer if you have bath salts or bath oils and maybe a candle going while you're doing it, glass of wine, whatever. I mean, it's, you know, nothing needs to be fancy or expensive, but it says that you love yourself and you want to feel good. Yeah, I love that message that as you clean these parts of your home, you're lifting up some stress in your life. It's allowing you to see through to another part of your life that needs attention and allows you to relax because that is such an important Absolutely. part of the balance of it all. Yep. Lois, I love this. So folks, don't forget March 24th <laughs> to the 30th. It is time to clean. However, if you're finding this video at any time, this might be your sign to clean your goddamn bathroom. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching us. We're so grateful that you join us every Friday. There's so many different ways you can get in touch with us. We want to hear your cleaning tips. Did we miss something? Is there a room that you think is more important than the bathroom? You could email us at silverandsensational at gmail.com. You can find us on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram, also at Silver and Sensational. And if our friends are watching us on YouTube, Lois, what shall they do? Well, first of all, we want you to subscribe, please, and share us with your friends. Do hit like and put whatever comments you may have in the comment box and press the notification bell so that you are reminded when Friday comes and there's a new episode dropping. In the meantime, Jessica, thank you a million. As always, you are such a joy to spend time with. And thank you, all of you, for tuning in. And we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you again. Lois, the feeling is so mutual. And today was so much fun. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you next week, Lois. You bet. Bye now. Thanks so much for watching us today. And please hit like, subscribe, and do share us with your friends. And again, we love having you as our audience. Stay with us. See us every Friday for a new episode. <laughs>